Hello everybody, WolfPup02 here, and welcome to the 2024 weather radio setup. Now it's not completely done because I'm adding another one probably tomorrow, but I figured I'd just do another collection tour because I've added quite a few radios since the last time that I did an unboxing even, and haven't done anything except make a random like weekly test EAS. Let's just start at the top, work our way over. First thing we got is the Eton Zone Guard. Um, it is currently velcroed to the wall. I'm going to try and use this to capture um, a couple of the farther away stations like Owensboro and Indianapolis sometimes that it's been able to capture. Um, top shelf we have WR with 300 version 3, or no, not version 3, version 4, number 1, version 4, number 2, which I don't have power cord for yet, and version 5. Uh, Midland WR100 version 2. These are all the Midland radios I've got. Oh, actually, I have a couple more. Uh, the uh, HH54 handheld, which doesn't have a battery or a power cable. And my Midland WR400, which is connected to my strobe light. Uh, the WR400, as usual, will only be activated for the counties or for my own county. So that way whenever I have the webcam over there recording, it will be able to detect my own kind of alerts and we can decipher that in the video. On the other side we have the 12262 which is half dead. I don't have power cable for it and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The oop, Radio Shack 1258. 24. Got this for $12 on eBay. A new inbox was kind of a steal. Um, the 991, 993, 991, I can't remember. 991, that's right. I uh, don't have a power cable for this either, so it'll be running off of batteries. And my 247B, which will only be operating whenever I'm actually here. If it's just something that I'm recording while I'm away, this will be off because I don't really want to deal with what we saw in that one video again. And of course up front we have my 519. Oh, really? oh, oh. There we go, kind of. It fades in now but can, can capture WXJ91. And my... 258, 253, I once again can't remember. 253. For one of the rarest radios I own, got this one also new in box for $15 off of eBay. And my 12993 running off of a DC jack because of battery corrosion. Underneath, I've got quite a few. Um, I've got my First alert, WX67, Velcro to the wall, because it's just been running off of 9 volt rechargeables. Um, this just came in today. My WX150, first alert. My WX27. Five miles an hour. Tonight, mostly clear until mid. And I got, uh, I'm trying to remember the model number off of it. SFA 1135 handheld. Got it at a flea market right down the street from my house for $5 new in box. Over here is my recom selection. I've got my first Indiana Department of Homeland Security. Uh, oh, damn it. There's 993. Ugh. Probably shelves. All right. Indiana Department of Homeland Security uh, 1630. I have another Indiana Department of Homeland Security 1630. Then I have a 1630A that I don't have power cord for right now. Ugh, you tell us today about a yellow watch light. Or, yeah, yellow watch light, green statement light. Oop. And by the serial number, I found that on eBay. It was like $12, and dude had a abysmal of them for some reason. Uh, down here. I have my EAR-10s, I have my white, which is about to be hooked up, it's, I'm going to use these in the next part of the test, and I have my black, which is also 
and Indiana Department of Homeland Security. I had no idea that sticker was there until yesterday. I shit you not. I just pay that close attention, I guess. WR196T, Oregon Scientific, as seen in yesterday's Require Weekly Test video. Uh, this I also just picked up the other day, which was in my monthly test video last night, the uh, United Bearcat BC278 CLT. Which, I guess doesn't. Huh. I don't know what. Oh, there it goes. Breezy. Cold with lows. My trusty BC 370 CRS. <laughs> uh, monitoring uh, WBKR. And also, for some reason, on a hold. Alright, well, we're just gonna let that do its thing. Um, down here, I have kind of a graveyard. I've got one, two, three, four WR100 version threes and a WR100 version five. I've got one WR. I, guess I got this WR120 EZ the other day for three dollars at a Goodwill. Not too bad. I've got another WR120 EZ. And I've got two faceless. That's a WR120 EZ. I guess they're all EZs, probably. Yeah, they're all EZs. I don't have a B, nor do I have a base. Um, I have a 521, which I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the model number, which is this guy's uh, younger brother in my living room. Haven't gotten to it just yet. Um, it just works as a family weather radio at this point. As well as... I've got the, uh, I forgot the brand of that little wireless charger, phone charger weather radio. I just picked it up today. It's at my bedside. <clears throat> um, tomorrow, I got a Honeywell RN507W that's coming in, which I'll probably end up doing another weekly, weekly test video with that. Well, for now, that is my 2024 setup. I'm probably going to like put some lights on it. Might get like a sign or two for back there. Um, I got a new webcam on the way to record these while I'm gone. So, can't wait to see these bad boys in action. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see y'all when the next warning is issued. Later.